Last <laughs> week on Give Me a Break. Yes? Well, hello down there. Hi. What can I do for you? I'm collecting for Jerry's kids. You can tell your aunt now. <laughs> my little three-year-old brother, mm -hmm. he's really one of Jerry's kids. Oh, oh, no. And it's like I'm collecting for him. <clears throat> oh, yeah, and I was only going to give you a dollar. Here, baby, make it, uh, make it five. Okay. <laughs> he's really sick. Okay. <laughs> Make it ten. Gee, thanks. Oh. <laughs> I, I caught the bunco artist, Chief. He's been using some phony story about Jerry's kids. You dirty crook. <laughs> Come on, this, this run? I don't believe that. Honest, the kid's a real pro. You know how many jerks in this neighborhood are giving him a lot of money? <laughs> Be a good boy. Eat your chicken. No. Please. I'm on a hunger strike, and I'm not going to an orphanage. Honey, you haven't eaten all weekend. Come on, take one teeny weeny bite. Come on, take a bite for Nell. Aunt Nell, take... Ah! <laughs> you bit me, and you drew blood, you little vampire. <laughs> What are you doing up? It's three o'clock in the morning. I couldn't sleep. I thought I heard a noise down here. Why are you just watching a test pattern? Hawaii Five always on the other channel. This is more interesting. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could get to like this type of thing. <laughs> it's the kid, isn't it? Look now. <laughs> so he doesn't eat for a couple of days. It won't hurt him. Eventually, he'll get hungry, he'll eat. That's the way life is. <laughs> I think I'll make myself a sandwich. <laughs> That'll ruin my breakfast. I do everything I can to help that little boy. You know, the girl's growing up, and pretty soon there won't be any children around here for me and mother. It sure would be nice to have one. Mm. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. Did I tell you that he bit me? <laughs> if he don't know a good mama when he sees one, what the hell with him? <laughs> You want to know some, Chief? Mm. I never thought that I could open up like this in front of you. It sure is nice to have someone who's so understanding, you know, to listen to my problems.
You ate the whole box of Fruit Loops? Mm-hmm. Chief, I was saving those for Joey. I was gonna use them to tempt him out of his hunger strike. Would've worked. They're great. <laughs> All right, where is it? What? The prize. <laughs> You mean this? Chief, what would you want with a toy whistle? I'm a policeman. <laughs> you a big baby. Uh, I gotta be getting to work. Look, did you leave me money for groceries? Yeah, I left a hundred bucks in the letterbox on my dresser. Girls, your father's leaving. Why don't you take out your whistle and blow? <laughs> because saying goodbye to those three sweet, happy faces gets me through the day. Bye, Dad. See you later. Have a nice day. I don't know about you, but they sure cheered me up. What is it with you girls? Joey, they're gonna put him in an orphanage. I just know it. Yeah, well, at least he'll look nice. I brushed his hair. Hey, maybe the social worker won't show up. Too late. Mrs. Lopez already called. She's on her way over here. Maybe the brakes will go out on her car and she'll swerve off the road and plunge over a 200-foot cliff. Oh. Hey, you! Doesn't take much to cheer them up. <laughs> Look, girls, I'd like Joey to have a nice home, but I just want it in another county. <laughs> county Cork would be nice. That's in Ireland. Well, it's a little close, but there'd be a lot of water between us. <laughs> Bon voyage, kid. Listen, Joey. You haven't eaten all weekend. You're going to starve to death. Now, come on, have a little breakfast. No. Please. No. <laughs> okay, which one of you three's been sneaking food up to Joey? Some hunger strike. He have worked myself sick all weekend trying to figure out a way to get some nourishment in your little dumb little body. And... Oh, you bit me. Now we're even. <laughs> what is the chief talking about? There's no hundred dollars in here. Go. Now, you be sure to keep in touch, okay? Yeah, and Joey, call us if you need anything, okay? okay. Yeah, call Collect. Daddy will pay for it. <laughs> we want you to call and then don't... All right, Joey, you hear us. Say goodbye, Joey. Now, now, good good call. Call. And Shut up and go to school. <laughs> All right, what you done said. Now, everybody does something that they're sorry for. Now, don't you have something to tell me? Yes. Okay. Now, what is it? I want some fruit loops. <laughs> have a hot dog. <laughs> Look, you have something to tell me, and I want to hear it right now. Now. But well, first, let me get you a glass of milk. You're like all the rest of the grown-ups. You don't like grown-ups, do you? I don't trust anyone over ten. Well, I don't trust anyone under seven. <laughs> don't you have anything to tell me? Grown-ups say they love you, they take you into their house, then they pass you on to somebody else, or they go away and leave you all alone. I don't want you and I don't want your own milk. You're crying. I am not. You're actually crying. I can turn it on or off whenever I want to. <laughs> You're something else, Joey Donovan. Go it along. 
You don't need anybody? Well, I'm going to tell you a little story. That's all grown up do is tell you dumb stories. I'm going to tell you another story, so shut up and listen. <laughs> You know, I was once seven years old myself. Come here. When I was seven years old, I was a tomboy. I could beat up any boy on my block. I still can. <laughs> but I was playing baseball, and I threw this ball through the window of the house of the meanest man in Alabama. I mean, now, that's mean. That's ugly me. So I went and I hid in the bushes. He came, he found me, he dragged me out, and he said, did you break my window? I said, yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, here's your ball back, because you're the first kid to ever tell me the truth. Well, Joey, we became friends. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? You know that Christmas, he gave me a puppy? Yeah, mm -hmm. he gave me a puppy. And that's when I started to trust people over 10. Oh, dear God, Joey's a good boy. He just needs a little help in doing the right thing. Oh, God, please forgive me with that phony story. <laughs> but you have to admit, the part about the puppy was a nice touch. I love you. Love me too. Oh. <laughs> What's the matter? Nothing. Nothing, honey. You, you, you stay here and be quiet. Okay. Good boy. I'm coming. <laughs> yes. Good morning. I'm Mrs. Lopez. I've come for Joey. He ran away. Thank you for coming back. <laughs> Look, Chief, I've raised your children. I have kept your house. And that time when your back went out, I stepped in for you on your bowling team. Now you owe me and Joey stains. What do you think? I better pack. <laughs> Look, your Aunt Nell promised you you could stay here, and you're going to stay. I'm going to prove to you that you can trust people over 10. Thanks, Aunt Nell. I trust you. Well, that's because I'm not that much over 10. <laughs> but you're gonna like it here. You know why? Because this place is full of love. Girl. It's full of other things, too. <laughs> I'm coming, Chief. Um, Joey, you stay here. I don't want the Chief to see you before I have a chance to talk to him, okay? Okay. Ebony and Ivory Chief <laughs> common. Well, this ivory is not going to harmonize with that ebony. You look upset. No, how the hell could you let that kid get away again? Oh, is that, is, is that what's bothering you? Mrs. Lopez was so ticked off that she phoned Judge Harrison at juvenile court. Well, the judge called me. I don't remember his every word, but I do remember kicked out on your Polish keister, Kaniski. <laughs> Gee, I have a little problem. I put out an APB on that kid to every airport, every bus station, alerted Amtrak. The highway patrol is calling in extra people. Do you understand how many thousands and thousands of dollars that runaway is causing the taxpayers? Well, what's your problem? I ain't got no problem. <laughs> Give me a break. Could you hold it down? Your father's just a little tense. What's the problem, Daddy? Joey's run away again. That's the problem. Joey got away! Joey got away! Give me a J! 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 Oh, shut up! Well, at least he won't be sent to an orphanage. 
Sometimes I just don't understand my own family. Now, one of the girls broke a dish again. It was a cat. We don't have a cat. I bought one. Here, yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. the kitchen. I want to talk to Nell. Alone. You lied to Mrs. Lopez. I can't explain. You she... jeopardized my job by lying to that social worker. I can forgive anything but a lie. Simpson, tell him to call off the search for Joey Donovan. I found him myself on Highway 54. <laughs> For your information, this house is right in line with Highway 54. <laughs> if they extended that highway, it would run right through this living room. I better put a traffic light on the porch. <laughs> Nell, why did you do it? Chief, we really would make the perfect foster parents for Joey. We're turning him over to Mrs. Lopez in the morning. Chief, he could be the son you've always wanted. I'd rather have the mountain cabin I always wanted. <laughs> Chief, please. No, we can't just take in every stray off the street. You can share his Fruit Loops. <laughs> Chief, he's frightened. He just needs a little love. You know what he told me? He said you can't trust anybody over town. I didn't say he wasn't bright. <laughs> Joey! Come here, honey. Chief, look. See how little he is? He hardly takes up in his face. She took your place in the bowling team, Chief. Now you owe her. Uh, baby, go back into the kitchen. Run. <laughs> I owe you. You bowled a 76 with three gutter balls. <laughs> the kid goes back in the morning. No further discussion. All right. But you tell him, Chief. I'm not going to be another grown-up who lets him down. Oh, and the least you can do is give him back his whistle. <laughs> You wanted to talk to me, Chief? Yeah. Sit down. Look, I want you to know that you're not a bad kid. But I can't have you living here. If I was you, I wouldn't keep me either. You wouldn't? You're used to girls. I'm a boy. Boys are trouble. Well, you wouldn't be that much trouble. Chief, never trust anybody under 10. <laughs> you almost had me there, Joey. You're good. You're good too, Chief. <laughs> now? Yes, Chief? You're good, but you can't fool an old pro. <laughs> You can put him to bed now. And? And he goes back tomorrow. All right, Chief. Joey, um, you can use some math this room tonight. And I'm going to tell you a bedtime story about this police chief who sent this poor little nice kid off to an orphanage. He was mean. He was real mean. Sam and Julie and Katie 
And of course my Aunt Nell. And please forgive the chief. He's a good guy. He just doesn't know this is the first real home I've ever had. He just doesn't know how much I really want to stay here. All right, I'll phone him first thing in the morning and get it all fixed up. We'll, we'll be his foster parents. Oh, gee. Thank you so much. Is that a tear I see in your eye? Cops don't cry. <laughs> Here, give him back his whistle. You were perfect, just the way we rehearsed it. <laughs> okay, Daddy! You guys can come down now! What? What's going on? Well, remember the VFW charity show? And you backed out of doing Me and My Shadow with Nell? Well, wait a minute. I've been thinking about doing it. Forget it. She's got a new partner. You're out of the numbers. Oh, God! Are you ready? Ready, Aunt Cindy? Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Nell Harper and Joey Donovan doing Me and My Shadow. I think I could have done better. 